In this video, we are going to know clearly about the wiring diagram of split AC. Before that, we have explained about capacitor and contactor and its wiring diagram in our channel. The link for those videos is in the description. Those who need, watch this video. Now, let's get into the video. Split AC has an indoor unit and an outdoor unit. Three wires come from main power supply. Phase wire, neutral wire, and earth wire. Power supply is connected to distribution board and MCB. Then it is connected to the isolator from the MCB. From the isolator, it is connected to the outdoor unit. Then, it is connected from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit. If it is connected from outdoor unit to indoor unit, then it is outdoor fed indoor wiring. If it is connected from indoor unit to outdoor unit, then it is indoor fed outdoor wiring. We are going to explain about outdoor fed indoor wiring in this video. Both wirings work on the same concept. So, there won't be much difference between the two. Apart from these three wires, two extra wires are connected between indoor unit and outdoor unit. That is control wires. These control wires are connected from the indoor unit to the coil of the contactor in the outdoor unit. It is through this control wire that the contactor is energized. The earth wire can be connected to the body of the outdoor unit. Phase and neutral wire can be connected to L1 and L2 port of contactor. Connect the phase wire from the T1 port to the common terminal of the dual capacitor. And then connect the common terminal to the running terminal of the compressor and the running terminal of the fan motor. Now, connect from the hum terminal of the capacitor to the starting terminal of the compressor and from the fan terminal of the capacitor to the starting terminal of the fan motor. The common terminal of the compressor and the common terminal of the fan motor can be connected to the Neutral terminal of the contactor. This is the wiring diagram of split AC. Now, when the AC is turned on, the power supply comes from the distribution board to the outdoor unit through the MCB and isolator. And then, from there to the indoor unit, and the indoor unit starts running. As the contactor in the outdoor unit is normally open, power supply is not available to the compressor and fan motor. When the room temperature exceeds the set point, the indoor unit sends power supply to the contactor coil through the control wire. Through this power supply, the contactor will be energized and the main power supply will start going to the outdoor unit. At this time, Capacitor send charges to the compressor and fan motor through the starting wire from hum and fan terminal to start the compressor and fan motor. After that, capacitor will cut off. After the capacitor is cut off, the supply comes from the main power supply through the running wire and keeps the compressor and fan motor running. All this happens in a fraction of a second. After the room temperature set point is reached, the indoor unit will stop the power supply going to the contactor. This will de-energize the contactor and stop the power supply to the outdoor unit. Then compressor and fan motor will be cut off. This is the detailed wiring and working diagram of split AC. If you have any doubt, ask in comments section. Support our channel by joining our channel and becoming a member. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to our Zebra Learnings English channel. Thank you.